Hello guys, welcome to this episode in which I'm going to show you how to come up with a, a computerized system from a manual system. Now, here with me on the screen, as you can see, is a step-by-step -step guide on how to develop how to develop a computerized system from a manual system. Now I'll go directly to chapter one which is introduction. Now chapter one falls in milestone one or milestone one of the project usually is chapter one so under this milestone the main theme here is system analysis or analysis in short now here we are going to look at problem definition now problem definition is usually one map and uh, it requires a short definition of the problem now it's like stating what the computerized system is going to what the computerized system is going to improve on the manual system and how efficient it is going to be to the system users compared to the manual system now after that we will proceed to general overview of the, of the existing system now under general overview of the existing system now we will provide a list of services that are offered by the existing manual system now after giving a list of the existing uh, of the services offered by the existing manual system you will proceed to describe the nature of the, pro pro of the project using the description that is given by the NEC after that You will list problems that results from that result from manual operations or that results from the current system and then you will cl clarify how you identify the problems and show the method that was used for fact finding or information gathering. Now some of the methods used are document review, interview, use of questionnaires, observation, etc. Now if possible, accompany this part with a sample or a blank questionnaire in case a questionnaire is given as the method of fact finding used if you used interview method then a sample interview schedule or interview form should be included now 
The next step is overview of the proposed system. Now, under overview of the proposed system is the objectives of the new system. So you are, you are required to state the objectives of the new system. Now, under objectives of the new system, you will state task to be computerized, the expected outputs, and the benefit benefits expected. The next step is the scope of the system, that is the new system. Now here you are required to list the main activities that will be carried out by the computerized system. Then, similarly, under overview of the proposed system, you will have to state the feasibility study. Now, under feasibility study, we have four types of feasibility studies, and the first one is operational feasibility. Now, under operational feasibility, you will state whether the users are happy with the proposed system and possess the necessary skills to operate the new system. Schedule feasibility. Here you will state whether the project is feasible within the timeline that is given. And to illustrate this, a project schedule will be used, which will divide various parts of the project along with the time frame in which they are they are to, they, they, which they are to be completed. Then technical feasibility. Here, you will state whether the technology to carry out the new system is readily available. Or whether the current technology supports the development of the new system that is proposed. Now, under economic feasibility, we will state whether the benefits of the new system outweigh the cost. And here, calculations will be done to compare the cost and the benefit of the new system. If the benefits outweigh the cost, then the proposed system is feasible. Now, that is all required of you in Milestone 1. Now, if you find this information useful, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification button to be notified when a new video is uploaded to my channel. Have a nice